When I was a kid, uh, my parents took me to Steelers training camp, okay, as a little child. Love, love going to Steelers training camp. You know, get the sun on my face. My parents enjoyed us, got us out of the house, and they didn't have to pay attention to us for a while. And afterwards, there was always a signing that happened or pictures taking. And Kevin Green was the last guy that was there the day, one of the days that I went. And I, I never asked for pictures with anybody. Uh, my dad or my brother, somebody was like, oh, go get a picture with that guy. Take a picture with me. He was so nice. He high-fived me. And uh, then I kind of, like, became a fan from that day forward. And I never got to know him personally. But anytime I watched him on the field, he was electric. In wrestling, he was magnetic. Off the field, I've heard these incredible stories. Yesterday, he passes away. Rest in peace to a legend. I know he won a Super Bowl in Green Bay with you two. Aaron, I'll lead off with you, obviously. Rest in peace to an absolute living legend, huh, Kevin Green? Yeah, it's a tough um, he was the second coach that uh, has passed this year that has been a part of our staff over the years. John Rushing, who was with us for a number of years, and, and I spent a lot of time with John uh, as he was an office and offensive assistant for a long time. Uh, he passed earlier this year. And then yesterday, uh, I got some texts from some former coaches as well who alerted me. KG was one of those special guys, man. Just you loved having him around. Uh, there's so many stories um, of him. You know, Age used to always uh, joke with him about doing a bunch of roids back in the day, <laughs> <laughs> being a wrestler. But at his heart, man, he's such a such a great human. I mean, he's such a sweet, sweet guy. Intense, you know, always talking about Cobra Strike, and you know, he got that voice. And he, you know, it's basically he, he was taking, you know, his personality. It seemed like in the in the ring was the exact same personality that he coached with, and and just a, a sweet guy. He used to love like playing pre practice catch with me and Matt Flynn. And I remember, especially in 2010, he would get out get out there early and love playing catch with Matt, and he would commentate the entire thing like, you know, like nice shot, like oh sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Everything was the sweetest ever. Oh, if I didn't catch, he would have broke my face. You know, he's just literally a kid in a candy store playing pre practice catch with Matt Flynn. And I used to just love to get out there and just watch him and just listen to what he was saying. Um, but he was instrumental in the in what we did that year. Uh, such a fun guy. We used to go back and forth and and give each other shit uh, and inside jokes at practice but uh, just uh, so much fun to be around great wife who sang the anthem uh, at our stadium a few times got to know his kids especially Gavin Gavin was working in the uh, in the equipment room a couple of the training camps um, you know definitely will miss him and and uh, it's definitely a big loss for the sports world and for for anybody who was around Kevin just knows how special he was. By the way, it feels like, and thank you for that, I just felt like I got to learn, it feels like yesterday, although everybody was sad, there was just like these incredible stories coming out of it. From the wrestling world, people were like, man, when he was around, just everybody was lifted. AJ, was he a hands-on coach with you day to day? Well, so KG coached outside backers, so I was playing inside in the 3-4, so I actually got, was able to become, I think, closer with him because he wasn't my direct like position coach. You know that, Pat, how you can see yeah. to have like a better – not better, but in the moment because he's not the guy grading my film. But in KG sat right next to me. So I was on the aisle of our defensive meeting room. He was sat in a chair on the steps right next to me. And just he would always lean over. If he saw he was all he loved finding things that nobody else would see, like on film. Like in practice, if I if I went downhill and dug out a pole or something and blasted him, but then somebody else made the player in a game, he would just lean over like E to the J. I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> And he called me A to the J for whatever reason, and I loved it. It was the greatest thing ever. But, uh, yeah, it's he's such a rare dude to mix, like a Hall of Fame player, and he's also, like, the most high-character dude on the planet. It's just uh, – it's unreal. Like, it's terrible. It sucks. Like, his family's amazing. I remember his wife singing the anthem. KG was saluting. I think he was crying a little bit. Like, yeah, just overall one of the best humans ever. All right. Well, rest in peace to KG. Job well done. It sounds like from every human in every single particular part of the world that met him. Uh, I wish I got a chance to be in a locker room with a man that had to eight to the J. I saw that. <laughs> like, I wish I could have been there for that. That would have been, that would have been incredible. AJ, KG was a cool dude, huh? Yeah, he's the man. Like, absolutely the man. I sent him a, uh, when he got inducted into the Hall of Fame, I sent him, I had a, a, this big knife and I had it made, I had it engraved with two Cobras striking oh. each other and then his Hall of Fame number underneath and his name and everything. And he was so juiced. I sent it down to Florida where he was living. A to the J, man. That's <laughs> That knife with the Cobras. Oh, yeah. He was just I used to rough him up. I used to rough him up on the sidelines because he'd always be the first one out there to celebrate like after a big three and out or something. 
and I would run over and start like forearm him in the neck and arms just rubbing him up and go, whoa, whoa, whoa. And then he'd see that I, are we, are we going to do this? Like, he'd, be like, he'd be like, and then afterwards, like, A to the J. You're going to bruise me, man. It's too bad. You got to stop. <laughs> he was the man. Everything about him. <laughs>